right, now it's time to get into the 37th annual <laughs> Slammy Awards. Is that real? Is that were they joking? No, no that's not real. Okay. No, <laughs> I, got, I was like very confused. I didn't know All right, Johnny. Before we get into that, let us know about the 1987 <laughs> hey, observers. Oh yeah, let's take a look at what was going on in the rest of the world in uh, 1987. Oh, you know, here. I got one that I have here, Johnny. Oh, uh, turns good. out Hulk Hogan doesn't want to do the job. It's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, everyone is on drugs. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I uh, I don't have any observers this week. It doesn't go back. It goes legit stops. The archives stop at 1988. <laughs> so I wow, got another. okay. Yeah, yeah sorry so about that. This is the golden era, as people would put it. Is that right? Um, yeah. Who? Uh, I, I guess because the screen <laughs> That's is, what they called it. The mm. screen is tinted yellow, so. I was not born. No, me neither. Tony? Tony? I was one. Okay, so... Wow, you were alive when this came. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <I'm> sorry. sorry. <laughs> I meant that as like, Damn. It's two days. I would be uh, I would be a year and two days old, which is crazy. Oh, my God. You... I hear you. Wow. Damn! Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, no, sorry. I meant like, damn. <laughs> so it's the 37th annual Slammys, which means it's actually the second Slammy they ever did. Well, it's not the Oscars, and it's not the Emmys. And it's not the Tonys, <laughs> and it's not the Grammys. Oh my no. gosh, oh. we're gonna crash this oh. helicopter! Dude, they start the show by flying a helicopter into a building. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? For real, it starts with a helicopter crashing, uh, and then Hulk Hogan on a motorcycle. <laughs> And uh, who was on the, the 37th bike? annual Slammy Awards? Who was on the bike? Was it George <laughs> Allen Steele? The, uh, he was on the bike at the end. Sorry, yeah. I have it. I have some written down here of what it was. I wrote them all down, by the oh, way. Oh, please take it away, Tony. You do it. No, hold so on. Before we get into that, before we get uh, into that, Tony. Yeah, hold on. I just want to make sure. We, I just want to set the table right for this. Sure, so, sure, sure. This is the first time and the last time we're ever going to 1987, probably. So I just want to make sure that we cover this. <laughs> we give it the right sure respect. We, right. Yeah. So they call this the 37th annual Slammy Awards because they think that 37 sounds more prestigious than the second. Oh, annual. I'm 37. Yeah, <laughs> the 37th <laughs> annual. Um, and and of course, in 1986, Vince had his wrestlers record a music album called The Wrestling Album. Yes. Uh, yes. And then in 1987, they did it again, and then they used the Slammys to promote their new album, Power Driver. Power Driver. Hell yeah. And all the stars are here. All They're here tonight. Well, who's here, Tony? All of them. They're all arriving to this place. I I, I guarantee there's like footage of this. It's like ridiculous on all these people. Oh, like up the, not the not cut up footage of this? Yeah, so they like yeah. they run down the roster of all the stars are here. A Hulk Hogan rides in on a motorcycle. He's got a tux <laughs> with no sleeves on. I don't Sleeveless know Sleeveless tuxedo is fucking gnarly. <laughs> That's like a gag thing you'd wear at like your high school prom or something. No, I like crazy. it, dude. You don't like it, brother? <laughs> it definitely uh, Coco wasn't beware. supposed to be like a tug-in-cheek thing either. He's like, this looks pretty no, good, dude. I look good, dude. Look at these this arms. Is what I wear, they got shot off the pythons, brother. Oh, I was gonna be burst on the motorcycle. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna be bursting out of my fucking seams if I didn't wear this, brother. Uh, Coco be wearing uh, Frankie arrive. I don't think they're doing anything crazy. Um, no. we had the million dollar man Virgil and fabulous Mula get out of a fire truck. I think. dude, I thought it was an ambulance, wasn't an ambulance? Maybe it was an ambulance, but uh, it was an ambulance, yeah. Why? Because they just uh, murdered the pussy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Send it on to Johnny. Here we go. Sorry. Here's what I do instead. I'm going to time you up. Time you up for 80,000. Uh, British Bulldogs and Matilda, the dog. Of course. Uh, get the out dog. of a white van. You know, like one of those oh, white free candy that's not vans. Good. That's what that uh, looks like. That's not good. Okay. Uh, the Bolsheviks ride on a horse in the dark. Um, <laughs> Strike, <laughs> Strike Force arrived. I don't remember what they were on. They weren't on anything crazy. Who the hell is that? Noteworthy. Strike Force is fucking Tito Santana, I think. Is Rick Martel? <laughs> is Strike Force Rick Martel and Tito Santana? Is that uh, their name? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, oh my yes, God. Yes, yes. I knew that. Let's go. Golden Air, bitch. Get gold. Yeah, yeah. Get with the gold, I've, bitch. I've, and I've been knew that shit, so don't even yeah, come at me now. God yeah, I damn. I know you knew. I feel like there was a bunch of people, but I, I just had Bam Bam Bigelow out of a clown car. I don't know what. It was a hot rod. You're an asshole. Don't disrespect <laughs> Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> yeah, it's still 1987, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Bam Bam was still over. He was in his gear and he was in a hot rod. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it was great for his career. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, demolition. <laughs> demolition was on. They came on a tow truck. <laughs> demolished yeah, things. in the back of a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, Sika and Mr. Fuji. I don't know what they came on. I think they just arrived in normal. Yeah, they were there. Uh, 
Uh, the natural Butch Reed and one man gang and Slick all arrived at the same time. I think they were in a think... limo. Oh, I okay, thought Slick yeah. was with. Uh... No, the the Bolsheviks came on horse one. They did, uh, Slick didn't have a horse. Slick it was uh, managing okay. like fourteen people at this time. So <laughs> was Jimmy. So was Jimmy. Jimmy and Hart. Yeah. Everybody was too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then we have, we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I think he just arrives in a truck or something. He was in his, his own truck. Yeah. Ford F one fifty. By the way, <laughs> was that right? <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, okay, I believe you. <laughs> feeling of taking a hot dump at your rich friend's house? It's what it feels like driving a Ford. All-American. F-150. Uh, yeah. Wow, then we okay. had Greg the Hammer Valentine uh, and Jimmy Hart arrived. I don't remember. They probably came in a heart ambulance also. <laughs> that was okay, though? <laughs> yeah, that no was No strikes for them? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jimmy Hart in a heart ambulance? That makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Brutus awesome. the Barber Beefcake came in in a Foundation. mobile haircut ice cream truck. It was truck. a mobile barber shop. <laughs> it was an ice cream truck. <laughs> but you got, It's like the Meat Man. Clown what would the car. Meat Man would show up Oh, in? the Meat Man. That's basic. <laughs> meat Man never had a truck. <laughs> 98 Meat Man was probably a fucking fiend. I agree. It was Brutus the Barber. <laughs> 98 <laughs> Meat Man. That guy is a fiend. Uh, then you had Jake the Snake and Damien arrived. I don't know. They just yeah, walked in, I think, with the snake. <laughs> snake ambulance. <laughs> Strike one. With, with hearts on the side. Strike force. <laughs> <laughs> the Macho Man and Liz arrived in a limo, I think. Okay. I think. Uh, oh, my Hog God. Dog Man in a Cadillac, of course. Of course. Dude, Liz was so beautiful. She is gorgeous, she man. Is it's like, unbelievable. You got to get her out of the biz right now type beautiful. Yeah. Well, don't you fucking <laughs> say anything. <laughs> don't <laughs> you ever say a word about How my fucking Elizabeth you right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> you strike they immediately, four right now, dude. They immediately put her in a bunch of fucking angles with other dudes that, that wanted to have sex with her. <laughs> I will not allow this. this. Yeah, right he on the 1987 37 annual Slammy Awards. <laughs> You're right. All right, then I'll just I'll go through the rest of these because the Heenan family arrives. Rick Rude, King Kong Bundy, Hercules, King Harley Race, Bobby Heenan, all oh, Hercules, stars. Hercules, right? Hercules. <laughs> Uh, Hillbilly Jim, Outback Jack, the Haiti Kid Killer B, all coming in Jesus. a truck with hay in the back of it. Ultimate Warrior's on that too, isn't he? Oh, was he in that one too? Okay, yeah, I he think might, he's he also on, on the hay ride. <laughs> 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 and then George, George the Animal Steel closes it out. Let us know, Johnny. What did what did what was he? He's riding? on a bicycle. He's on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah. Not. This wrestlers in 1987 were fucked up, man. They were just like, I. I I don't know who, like, you could tell who was on steroids, but, like, then there's guys like All George Dill who was just like, something's fucking wrong with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think George Dill was on steroids. I don't know, man. No, he, he's, he just, he's on he something just, else, though. Nah, he know. was on steroids. He just wasn't working out. He was on peanut butter jelly sandwiches. <laughs> the long way. <laughs> What was the sponsors on this show? Yeah, James, pretty, let me know. Let me oh, yeah, Slammy Awards sponsors. are brought to you by Schlitz. <laughs> <laughs> Schlitz malt liquor. Malt uh, liquor. Also, I've had Schlitz before, bro. You've had Schlitz? Schlitz? Not, yeah. not the malt. You, not the malt. In 1987, it was one. It was formula with Von Wagner. <laughs> the Schlitz. <laughs> I had, I, had, I had on down a supermarket sweep and picked me up a Schlitz. <laughs> What's Schlitz like? It, so I never had the malt liquor version. There's like a uh, malt liquor okay. version. Schlitz is just like, I think it might have been like Chicago, Minnesota or something like that. Beer. It's just like a, you know, like a Budweiser kind of beer. Holy. But the, the malt liquor is still the same. I looked it up. The logo of the malt it's liquor still is available? The, blue, the blue bowl. Yeah, you can still you can get it. You can buy it? It's still the same thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Schlitz. Yeah, Let me get one Schlitz, Schlitz malt liquor. <laughs> uh, also, one of our favorite WWF sponsors, milk. <laughs> <laughs> Schlitz and milk. Good combo. Uh, what else? Also what do I have? Halls. The National Dairy Board, okay? It's about the National Dairy Board. Well, they should put that up there instead of just milk. Well, I'm going to have my Schlitz with milk and then Papa Halls. <laughs> <laughs> and then an Oxy 10? <laughs> oh, yeah, for my shitty little zit face at one nah, year old. No, bro, I'll take an Oxy 20, brother. <laughs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Well, different every no, year, bro. Dude. Come on. There's a fucking. There's a shortage. You can only have an oxy ten. Yeah, so, you can have an oxy, so cut it in half. Hear me out on this. Hear me out on this. So Vince yes. McMahon comes in here to the Slammies up next. Like he yes, introduces he the show. I 
This is where I stopped watching it the first time. I thought like <laughs> this was your you plus. Ex- this is your plus one hour can moment you, of the night, dude. Can you explain that part too? That this is not a I one tell, sitter for you. Yeah, no, this is a three day event for me. This one hour show. The Slammys. This night is on well, dude, so I messaged Johnny. Uh, I messaged Johnny and I say, <laughs> okay, let like, me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, I watched the show. Johnny messaged me and said, was this show worth it? And I said, yeah, I wrote a lot of stuff down. And then Johnny, and then I think James said, I watched one minute of the show or something. I don't remember what you said. What did you say exactly? Okay, you had like a right. time stamp of what you had. <laughs> I said and it was like 10 minutes of the show. Or it was like, I was like, okay, so we were supposed to record this show like <laughs> Wednesday or thir- I think yeah. Thursday or something. That's right. And, 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 and it's about time for us to start recording. We were and also editing three DPW shows. Yeah, three DPW shows had to go up. So it's Thursday fucking night. And they they message me and they and it's like, all right, guys, send the clean feed over. And I, I, look at, I look at the video and I'm like... <laughs> That, by the way, the video is one hour, nine minutes long. I, w- I had one hour, six minutes left. <laughs> I yeah, said, he said, he said, I need another hour to finish this. I only have an hour and six left. <laughs> and then he said, sorry, man. I hate this stupid fucking show piece of fucking shit. <laughs> and then he only got to the switch part. He only got to the switch part. <laughs> Didn't talk to him for two days. He still hasn't finished it. <laughs> Bro, okay, first off. Can you, you repeat you what I said again? What did I say? <laughs> He's, okay, so the first message was... <laughs> let, I said, you can send the clean feed over if you dare. He said, let me get another hour to finish the show. I only have one hour, six minutes, 35 seconds left. So I said, oh my sweet Jesus. <laughs> And then he replied, sorry, man, I hate this stupid fucking show piece of fucking shit. <laughs> and then wigs are a dish give, right? Yes. Wait, okay. Right. All right. So, yeah. So, dude. Okay. So, first, I felt so bad because, like, I, this wasn't a recommendation for me, but somebody had recommended it and it was on the list. Of it was on the list, watch. which is fair. And fair I was like, game. okay, maybe, maybe this will be good. It might be like, uh, you know. The rage party. Uh, the rage party. I was like, maybe it's like the rage party. We could get some out of here so then james was like i hate this fucking shit, <laughs> so really fucking shit. So, uh, i'm editing i'm editing three dpw shows i gotta go up fucking in a row and i turn the show on and oh and here's georgie animal stealing a bicycle I said, fucking damn it Dude, every, like, every six hours there's a new message from james and hey, this show fucking sucks <laughs> I'm skipping through it. I go, is there any wrestling on this show? Johnny goes, no, there's not. And I go, dude, I'm in the middle of rewatching fucking like 2015 PWG. I have to watch matches tonight. So fucking, dude, it takes me three days to watch. I just not finished joking. this. Not before. a joke. No, absolutely. Because, dude, okay, so at first I thought this was like a serious show. I thought this was like a serious show they were trying to put on. And I was like, I can't watch this 1987 <laughs> serious okay, show okay, bullshit. Okay, sure. I-, I was going to watch it if I thought it was going to be serious. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a serious show because I didn't get anywhere but to like Vince McMahon. <laughs> to the so like part. up until that part, I was like, oh my God, I can't take this fucking shit. I can't do this shit. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Vince McMahon's here. He's got a slave in his hand. And, uh, yes. the sta- it's, uh, it's like uh, theater seating, I guess you could say, right? There's a stage, big WWF logo on the backdrop and Vince is on stage slamming his hand. This is a tongue in cheek event, but I just want to make sure everybody understands that uh going into this. This was a this was very much a funny haha show. Spoof on other They just wanted shows. you to buy the goddamn album. Buy Pile right. Driver the album. Right. Yes, um, exactly. So I didn't know that until the I didn't know that until the Jack Tunney part. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Which comes up next. So if I would have watched yes. for like four more minutes, I would have known, known. And I probably would have finished it one day, <laughs> but I didn't. So <laughs> that's how the shit works. So Vince McMahon is here with a slammy in hand. Um, the slammy, by the way, is Zandig doing the mother effing bomb, which that is. That is insane. You're right. Which is awesome. Also the daddy. No, what was yeah. the daddy? Did we have a backup driver? Hammer. Oh, Bernie Hammer. Hammer. Yeah, yeah. Bernie it was Hammer. based on that, though, yes. But uh, it is the mother effing bomb. You're right. Vince uh, looks like a. What, what do they call those dudes on TV that, that preach? Correct! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, Tell, like, uh, televangelist? Is that right? Yes, yes that's exactly. That's exactly. Yeah, that exactly Vince cool. came out. This is a love fest of mutual admiration yes. and support. Also, he's doing like a weird Power Driver too, CD is here. Dude, he was doing the. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, 
He was doing the weirdest voice. He said, uh, we will leave here tonight with better, what did he say? Better having leaving this joyous celebration. It's oh, like he, weird, you like, know what? I, I, I guess I didn't even think about it. I thought he was just doing a weird voice. He was doing a televangelist voice. Because he says, this is a tribute uh, to the blood, uh, the sweat, and the tears. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. That lie behind the glitter and the glamour. I was like, oh, fucking what? Yeah, like you're Dusty right. Rhodes impression? <laughs> There's another problem in this show where somebody sounds like Dusty Rose too. I said, like, why are they doing this Dusty Rose impression? <laughs> it was just tele- uh, tele- whatever the fuck. Tele- yeah, it's such a weird, it's a weird word. Yeah. Televangelist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Televangelist. Yeah. But yeah, tribute to the blood and the sweat and the tears uh, that lie behind the glitter and the glamour. Uh, and speaking of glitter and glamour, that brings us to host tonight, Mean Gene Oakland and Jesse Ventura. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't fucking believe my eyes. <laughs> Jesse Ventura's here. We, we watched- Bandana it out. No Jesse Ventura. He wasn't even on any fucking show Didn't for like 100, 100 plus. I swear to God, every fucking other week, Jesse Ventura is back and here he is. How does this happen? Dude, it's just, it's Hogan and Jesse Ventura arc. Crazy, man. Show. Yeah. Did you so guys they, like the the little podium they had here with the WWF turnbuckle? I thought it looked that was like the cool. cart, right? Yeah, it was cool. I thought it was I did like neat. that. I thought that was very cool. Um, yeah, they introduced uh, Jack Tunney, of course. <laughs> yeah, Mean Gene. Uh, they're you know Mean Gene and Jesse are going back and forth, and Jesse says uh, uh, he calls Mean Gene a pipsqueak. He says you ain't hosting this event. I am, uh, and maybe you've been parking too many cars or something. But I'm the movie star and I'm the host of the show. Uh, but to show that the body is generous, you can be the co-host. Uh, and then they introduce the man that tabulated the votes, the president of the <laughs> WWF's Academy of Sports and Sciences. You mean WWF's ass? <laughs> Couldn't let, <laughs> could let that be subtle or anything. No, like, What's yeah, that, the no, ass? He says it. And then they, they follow up with like the worst joke ever. You're telling me the guy's name is Jack? You want me to introduce <laughs> Jack from ass? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you are completely ruining this joke. You're driving it in the ground. Shut up, shut Gene up, shut says, up. I'm going to introduce uh, President of WWF's ass. Jack ass. I mean, Jack Tunney. And then he comes out and they boo him the hell. <laughs> yeah, well, as you guys know, 1987, this was groundbreaking. They said ass on television. You understand Jack how crazy this from was? ass. <laughs> they could say it. It's the Academy of Sports and Science, you know? Of course. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's just an acronym. <laughs> well, guess what, guys? The first award of the night is Best Performance by an Animal. <laughs> I I was like, what does that mean? Like I I was like, okay, maybe like you know, Jake Roberts or what? But it was literal literal animals is who they were talking about. Yeah, I guess you know WWF did have a ton of animals. They did. They had enough to make a whole fucking award thing here. Yeah, they had a ton of animals. They had a ton of fucking managers. A ton of fucking teams. <laughs> <laughs> a, ton of, <laughs> like, a lot of shit a lot actually, going on yeah. here. Yeah, really. Uh, well, it's the best performance by an animal award, and the nominees are. Damien the Snake, accompanied by Jake the Snake Roberts. Frankie the Bird, accompanied by Coco Beware. Matilda the Dog, accompanied by the British Bulldog, who the dog then starts to uh, try to attack and kill Frankie the yeah, Bird. Dude, <laughs> why did you put the dog right beside the bird? <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they didn't think that through. And lastly, George the Animal Steel. <laughs> and the winner is... George the Animal fucking Steel. Success. He wins the award. Success. Yeah. That's what I would have picked. So George Steel gets up and he rips his shirt off. He starts running around the building. <laughs> He's losing his fucking mind. Then he goes up to accept his award, but he is distracted by the turnbuckle pad that is in front of the podium. And Mean Gene says, no. <laughs> no, no. Don't do no. it. <laughs> George the Animal starts biting the turnbuckle pad and ripping it open, throwing his stuffing all over the fucking place. Go fucking crazy. I said, I, what is fucking happening here? Because I, I knew it was going to be a funny show, but I didn't know, like, it was all bits on the show. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole show is bits. Right, but I didn't know that going in. I, I thought... I no. thought I was like, oh, they'll do some bits here and there, but this is like a legit. They were trying to do a comedy show. <laughs> yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't understand the context of the show until like right now. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. oh, okay, it's a comedy show. I, it really sunk in when they started doing the Duggan and stuff, stuff like Duggan and That's Grace stuff insane. later. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, this is like a straight up comedy show. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, George the Animal Steel winning, fucking freak of nature. WF loved a bunch of fucking freaks of He's nature. He's a hairy bastard. 
Yeah, man. I bet this guy was fucking awesome in real life, though. I bet you, like, he was whenever he cool yeah, drinking beers with this dude, like, he was definitely fucking rocking back then. Crazy. He probably has some crazy stories, too. <laughs> crazy yeah. bastard. Guaranteed, man. I know those guys, do. A lot of those guys fucking lived and died with those stories, dude. They didn't, they didn't tell a soul about wrestling, you know what I mean? Dude, no way. No fucking way. Yeah, absolutely not. And, uh... I, I'm pretty sure I brought up on the show before, I probably told you guys, but there, when Jax was doing, like, the classic Superstars line, they made a George the Animal Steel figure that, like, felt like it had real hair on it. It was That's fucking awesome. gross. That's it was that. crazy. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Or <laughs> maybe it was real hair. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but it like it felt gross. It was ridiculous. I I never wanted to play with a George Steel figure. <laughs> maybe it's it was like that. fucking gross. Do you remember the episode of Beavis and Butter where they try to get beards, but then they just shave their pubes? And pubes, and they yeah, did. I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. It was just pubes. <laughs> another, you know, another dab for George Steel. He was in Here Comes the Pain. That's so sick. Oh, you're right. You're that's right. so sick. W. Jim Duggan was too. He was. I think that's when was Jim Duggan. Hillbilly Jim was. Oh, was Hillbilly Jim, Jim, that's what it was. Yeah, no, that was Jim, your guy. I, yeah, Hillbilly Jim was my guy because his name was Jim. And I think you were, <laughs> you're right. I remember you telling me that. <laughs> and yeah, I think Here Comes the Pain was the first game they started doing like the Legends again. Like, I think that was like the game that they returned those because they came out on the cart and shit. Yeah, the cart was awesome. It was fucking sweet. Hillbilly Jim with the fucking crazy smile on his face. <laughs> crazy moves there, too. Yeah, dude, he was a beast. <laughs> Punches and power slams and shit. Yeah, out of We got to get Hillbilly Jim in the AEW game. Oh my god, yeah. That'd be insane. And he's just, is he alive? He's gotta be alive. I can't imagine that guy dying. <laughs> <laughs> Ever? And no, no. He is still alive. And fuck yeah, he is. Because he dude, ain't dying. His, oh. his, his Wikipedia picture is awesome. Look at dude, this. he was on Legends House. Do you remember Legends House? Oh my god, I do remember that. Yeah, I do he remember was on that. that yeah. Oh wow. And he got in, he's in the Hall of Fame too. Dude, he's still a fucking beast. Look at this guy. He is insane looking. Wow. Holy shit. He's ready for another run. That's what Looks I'm saying. Like Bring him in. Yeah. He does kind of look like Snitsky. If he grew his beard out. Yeah. <laughs> looks like Snitsky now. Snitsky looks like this. <laughs> That's Snitsky? Yes, yeah, Snitsky. Name. Yes, yes, yes. Snitsky. <laughs> yeah, George Steele, he takes a slammy from a woman who handed it to him, and then he pushes it back into her and then starts chasing her off the stage. And that's how that segment ends. Oh, did, that you see, did you say he ate the turnbuckle? Did you say that? He did eat the turnbuckle, yes. All right, so Jim Duggan is also here uh, in a tuxedo <laughs> shirt and a two by four <laughs> with a bow tie. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> to present the next award, which is best ring apparel. Yes, I've been keeping one eye on fashion and the other eye on the nominees for best dress break apparel. <laughs> is he trying to say he's cross-eyed or something? He looks one way and looks the other way. That's just how they all were in 1987. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the style. Well, yeah, right. best dressed ring apparel, uh, nominee number one, Demolition, and Demolition are in full gimmick, but they also have, like, a dress shirt on, or is it, like, their yeah, like, outfit, like a, tuxedoed? It's like they cut a tuxedo up and then put their Demolition thing over it. It was kind of okay. cool. Second nominee is the Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, third is the Honky Tonk Man. Fourth is King Harley Race. Uh, people are throwing shit at Harley Race as he stands up. And fifth is the British Bulldogs. Both of them. <laughs> All uh, of and them. The, and the winner is, well, Jim Duggan's not happy. He says, no, this can't be right. Well, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Here, you read it. And he gives it a, a woman to read and he leaves. And the woman says, King Harley Race? Race? <laughs> She's not sure. Dude, Chris tri Reiser? Triple H Triple H would have had her executed on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Harley Race. <laughs> you just cost Mark Jindrak his job. You're getting pedigreed. You cost Mark Jindrak his job. <laughs> How could you do this to Mark Jindrak? <laughs> Uh, Bobby Heenan goes up there with King Harley Race and he says, uh, the king would like to thank the low-life humanoid subjects and this low-life back here that's holding a board in his hand, but the king can't accept this slammy unless he is properly presented with the slammy. Uh, and that is if woodpecker breath, which is Jim Duggan. <laughs> he says, you gotta get down on your knees and show respect. And Haxel says, no way! And he slaps Harley Race's arm away, and then, uh, Race shoves him and he chases after him, uh, to the back. Holy fucking shit. Well, it doesn't stop there, of course. 
No, of course not, because they do. This is like this is crazy. This it's is literally crux crazy. Of the show. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. It cuts to a pre-tape. Uh, Harley Race in different gear, by the way, in the back. This was live. Fuck you. <laughs> this was live. Oh, by the way. Uh, so I was gonna say, uh, Gorilla Monsoon runs off, and I'm like, oh, he's running to go get help or something or stop. Oh, because. Because he's in, Gorilla Monsoon is there, and he says uh, he's introduced next, but he says, "Oh my God, did you see that?" And he runs across the stage. When he runs to get to the back, he kicks Harley Race's crown off the screen. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> no, I, I didn't, didn't notice that. Screen. That was funny as hell. Yeah, but yeah, I thought he was running to get help or whatever. No, he runs to do commentary <laughs> to watch the fight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That was sweet. Yeah, so they're fighting in the back now. Uh, like, I guess it's supposed to be like the dressing area back here. It's the Pierre's yeah, makeup yeah. area. And uh, there is course, a Pierre. fucking donkey yes. back here, <laughs> and with chickens <laughs> hanging out back here. Chickens? Dude, did you dude. say chickens, James? It's insane. Yeah, chickens. <laughs> oh yeah, of course I did. Come on, come on now. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah. So like, they're fucking fighting back here. Uh, Bobby Heenan accidentally hits Harley Race in the face with a stool. Uh, Duggan hit, hits him with what Gorilla Monsoon calls the chemicals. <laughs> He's throwing chemicals <laughs> at him. I think Harley Race is bleeding, or maybe he was he bleeding. Does get, he does get bloody at one point, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, still throwing more powder chemicals at each other. There's a <laughs> random donkey back here, and they keep... Monsoon keeps saying, uh, there's a donkey back here. I'm not sure what that's about. The whole time, like, oh, what's this fucking donkey doing here? It must be a reference that I'm not understanding. Akakona. <laughs> <laughs> donkey! Chicken Akakona! <laughs> then at one point, they pick up, cr uh, like, some crates and chickens fly out of it. Chickens, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I'm so glad I get to like do this on command now. It's usually just me doing it. That's your spot. Yeah. Uh, then they, they fight uh, into the electrical utility area, which hundreds and thousands of volts here, and they're fighting in this area. Dude, uh, and I had flashbacks of gold dust, man. I was like, <laughs> holy <laughs> gold dust. <laughs> Who's going to get turned into gold dust here? I cannot wait. I swore they were going to like do a spot into that and like shut the show down. That's what I figured. Uh, I thought that was how the show was going to end. Sure. Oh, okay. yeah, that would have been a good idea, yeah. But it, it was the show ended in a much shittier way. <laughs> uh, anyway, while they're fighting, Monsoon's saying, Brutus the Barber's on the stage giving a presentation for best head. <laughs> oh, all right. Ow. <laughs> don't, don't you. <laughs> best head? And, like... They don't cut to Beefcake. They keep showing Duggan and Harley Race yeah, fighting and punching cut? each other. You can't but cut and look at the head. I guess know? not. Well, the, be uh, the, the best head was... tabletop, you know? It, it's a tie, yeah. Tony. Was... <laughs> There's a lot of callbacks it's, this episode. I like this. That's true. It's a tie for best head. It's Bam Bam Bigelow and Mean Gene Oakland. They have the best they got head. That they won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Well, uh, Harley Race goes for a double axe handle off a box, but he gets no height or uh, distance, so he just falls straight down, splash style through a table. Anyway, back to the stage. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, don't don't gloss over that table spot. That's that what was, it yeah. was. That's, that's that was like one of the. That's what they did. No, that was like one of the first table spots of all time. Yeah, I'm WF, pretty sure really. like on WF TV. Really? That's like one of the. That was first like ones the, ones the first did. WF table spot ever. They yeah. didn't really make it a big deal. They said, "Oh fuck!" Anyway, here, go to the stage. Yeah, because they've. ECW was a rock, and they weren't going through tables yet. They didn't well, know. Well, they knew. On. They knew ten years from now, this is going to be what every Attitude Era match was like. Is that real? It was one of the first on TV. <laughs> Dude, there's there. They never had tables broken ever at all. Uh, in the yeah, yeah. Harley Race was setting the precedent <laughs> by putting himself through it. <laughs> Don't lack table stop. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, but this so this goes away for now because we have to go back to introduce Vince McMahon to perform of the course. craziest song of all time. But this does happen a lot throughout the night, and we'll uh, we'll come back to this. Uh, it's an added, like James said, it's an attitude era match. They call back. It's like a hardcore when the hardcore yeah. title twenty four seven hardcore title. It's yeah, like they just go to different places. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so yeah, Jesse Ventura is here, and he introduces Vince McMahon so he can perform his hit song "Stand Back." Yeah, well, he's a man that. Uh... <laughs> Sucks. He's proving he can't talk, <laughs> and he's a bitch. Oh, no, I think it was Duggan. Was it Duggan or Vincent? I, th I no, had Duggan. It was no, maybe Jesse. I was wrong. It was Jesse. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> he can't talk. He can't sing. He's a piece he, of shit. Uh, so Vince does uh, his performance of Stand Back, and uh, this is a crazy lineup here. So Vince is singing. 
Hogan is on guitar. Uh, Macho Man, Jake Roberts, Beefcake, Jerry Lawler, Junkyard Dog. <laughs> They're all playing like trumpets and trombones and shit. <laughs> like Vince is fucking going crazy. There's a bunch of dancers and all. This is legit just for Vince to do this song, I feel. Isn't this whole show? Yeah, well, he, yeah, you're right. He definitely was giving it his yeah. all here. Yeah, he was. He was going crazy. Yeah, well, you know, Hulk Hogan was going to play Metallica, brother. So, thing when he had, <laughs> they had him on the guitar. This is uh, his tryout for Metallica right here. <laughs> this is when I realized I was too good for Metallica, dude. And I said, out. no way, dude. Yeah, I'll no play way, for brother. Megadeth, though, dude. No, oh, that yeah. Or maybe I would. doesn't work for me, brother. Sympathy of destruction. Well, the, here's the deal with this, man. So, Vince, you got to give it to him here. He fucking was trying to make this he shit. He performed his dick off. This is like this is like the up to this point. This is probably the biggest thing he's ever done in his entire life. He thought this was it. This is like the 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 creme de la resistance of his life. And it's, was <laughs> and it's the this. one that everyone talks about the most. Yeah, you're from right. This show. Yeah, you know? D, I think DX talks about this later. Yeah, they make, they they make fun of this on one. TV. I think. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. Jericho <laughs> show it on TV too at one point? Or it gets it brought big? up every f- seven years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, but yeah, so I mean, they, they, you're right. They had j- fucking junkyard dog and everybody out there. Fucking George Steele with a fucking tambourine, like. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> like the monkey. Yeah, that's you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's crazy. Yeah, Vince That's was awesome. cooking, man. He had uh, had a lot going on here. This was his this was wrestling to him for some reason. Yeah, he this is what he wanted wrestling to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Yeah. And Stand he definitely back. got to dictate that Stand for back. 40 years. So Thanks it was a three minute that, song too. So he had like, you know, he had some time to uh perform there. Yeah, he was going in. You think he wrote the song or did Jimmy Hart write this? Somebody else Jimmy wrote Hart this. Did. Yeah. Jimmy Hart did, yeah, for yeah. sure. You think Vince is in the studio? <laughs> Talking about where? <yeah. laughs> <laughs> right now, lines. Oh, I've got all this money. I'm cooking up these digits. <laughs> <laughs> a million, a million, a million, a million. Like, oh, we'll scrap this. We'll scrap this. We'll give this to somebody else. And then, yeah, this, this is good. Give this to Metallica. <laughs> yeah, this will work for somebody else, brother. He wrote, yeah, Hanger, wow. he wrote Hanger 18 in 1987. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, so. It cuts to Harley Race and Jim Duggan fighting backstage. Yes, still. Yeah, there's a llama back here. A llama legit. They, a like someone just llama. walks a llama by and Monsoon says, a llama. Uh, but yeah, they're just fighting. And Monsoon is there with them as they're still fighting in the fucking electrical live com. utility. <laughs> yeah, live commentary. And a llama walks fucking He's locked by. in the yeah. cage. <laughs> and then they go to commercial and they come back. They're still fighting in the electrical utility room. Uh, but now Bobby Heenan has locked Jim Duggan inside of it. So he can't fucking possibly get out of this. How could Except, he? Well, he does, James, by climbing over it. Holy and shit. So right now. <laughs> Right next to the cage, there is the biggest stack of boxes in the entire world. Just empty boxes just stacked up to the ceiling that Jim Duggan very slowly pushes over. And coincidentally, they all land on top of Harley Race and Bobby Heenan and crush them under it. And then they die. And then they end the show. Horrific. They don't die because they're empty oh. boxes, Johnny. They're oh, empty. Sorry. No, they didn't yeah, pretend that's that they happened. had something inside of them. No, yeah, they all. They, they, yeah, everyone. It, the show ended. I went back and started watching Black Cold Sun. <laughs> and then we moved on. Right, yeah, we still got to find out who the music Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. There's a lot well, going Doug, on here. Duggan climbs out of the electrical utility cage, uh, and he's breaking boxes over Heenan's head. Then they brawl into the dressing room. But I believe it's the women's dressing room because there's a bunch of women in there, of course, and they run away and scream. And then a woman comes out, I assume maybe the seamstress, and starts attacking Bobby Heenan with a stick. And uh, I'm not sure. They never really explain why or what or who she was, but she's beating Bobby Heenan with a stick, chasing him out. And then Harley Race gets launched off of a set of stairs onto a couch. <laughs> <laughs> he does land on a couch. Did I miss anything <laughs> there? <laughs> no, no. He launched yeah, him straight back into WCW. I'll tell you that much, brother. Yeah, I'm sure. All these guys, actually. Yeah, I lost, the show. launched about all of them. On Nitro pretty soon. <laughs> So uh, yeah, well, guess what, guys? It's time for the one of the most patented historic awards in the history oh, of the Slammys. Yeah. Of course, one the most we, prestigious award of all time in the history of ever awards. Ever. Yeah, I like what you're saying, dude. <laughs> you're really making Keep it sound going, good, brother. <laughs> yeah, he's got the biggest pythons and the biggest balls. Oh yeah, oh, biggest yeah, cock worldwide, brother. Ooh, yeah, big cock. You're right, brother. Ginormous man, uh, brother. Humongous. Well, it's time for dude. the Hulk Hogan <laughs> Real American Award. Yes, and who's that uh, being brought to you by? 
Who is it? Well, it's of course WWF champion Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh well, I thought that was the guy. That's the guitarist on stage earlier. That's not Hulk yeah. Hogan. It's, well, it's one and the same dude. I, I thought that was the guitar. Brother. I thought that was a bassist for Metallica, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, so brother. they 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 changed this award today. It's different award now, but uh, it's now oh, known yeah? as the Ball Liquor Award. John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell yeah! You let them know, bro. That's real. We brought it back. That's nice yeah. of us. The Hulk Hogan is that award on is Wikipedia? The ball <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yes. yes, the Ball Liquor Award is what this would be. The Hulk Hogan Real American. Well, award. Hogan comes in through the crowd. Fuck you. The Hogan comes in through the crowd with his theme song, sleeveless suit, uh, taking in all the uh, admiration from the crowd of course I, w i'm guessing there was like f fans here too or no uh well the one when i saw uh when was it george the animal seal walking through the crowd yeah. i saw like a bunch of old people i don't know what kind of people were here for this okay. Dude, they fucking I loved this shit hell yeah they did fuck yeah they thought it was had hilarious a, too fucking ate this had a goddamn arnold palmer had a, <laughs> no, they had a grilled cheese sandwich and a <laughs> tomato soup and they said this is the shit right here this is he the garden there they served that at theaters in 1987. <laughs> tomato soup and grilled cheese with the Arnold Palmer's. <laughs> yeah, I think Arnold, Arnold Palmer probably wasn't even invented yet. He was right there. He was, right there. <laughs> he, was, he was there and he saw this and said, hmm, I wish I was drunk. <laughs> you know what I could do? I could mix iced tea and lemonade together. That'd be crazy. <laughs> we should spike this, dude. <laughs> you got well, Hogan. It. Hogan's on stage and he says, I'd like to thank all the audience here and all of you guys here. You guys are awesome. <laughs> okay. And, <laughs> all right, dude. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I went out today and I stripped my shirt off, brother. And I took a ride down the boardwalk on my Harley Davidson. Uh, Perumba. <laughs> <laughs> I never in that too. <laughs> And I thought I'd get arrested, dude. But when I saw my Hulkamaniacs at the Slammy tonight, what a turn on you guys are. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he did say that. that. He used to say that all the time in the 80s. Say, oh, yeah, my Hulkamaniacs just turned me on, brother. Well, don't all worry, right, dude. dude. It's not just my ginormous cock, dude. It's actually hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got me fucking horny. Yeah? That's the so, real. Don't you fucking freaking near me, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, the Hawkster didn't come here to get this applause, dude. But you can keep it going, brother. <laughs> this applause is for somebody else, man. Somebody that has suffered through the hard times and survived, man. He wasn't a real brother guy here yet. He was a man. He man. was a man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> this big dude, man. Man, brother, dude, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Brother stands for everything America's built on, man. Integrity, perseverance, the attitude that he'd never give up, man. Yeah, man. We're talking about the one man. This one man <laughs> deserves the Real American Award more than anyone else, brother. So right now, a lot of us pattern our lifestyles around this guy, dude. When I saw him drop to his knees and say his prayers, brother. <laughs> get, shut up! Hey, man, go, come dude. on, hey, come on, man. This applause right here is for the guy, man. I stole his fucking gimmick, dude. This is real. I stole his gimmick. Him. I, I took all, all of his shit, dude. And now he Even can come up size. here. He can come up here and he can take this award from me, brother. It's my <laughs> award. It's not called the Superstar Billy Graham Award, brother. I tell you that much. Or and when he, gets up, when he gets up here, dude, he better have some nice things to say. Him Dude, man, he better not brother. need a cane either, brother. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Hogan says the real American award goes to superstar Billy Graham. So, superstar Billy Graham hobbles his old ass up here. He didn't look like I, I imagine he didn't need a cane, but they had him have a cane for a spot in the no, segment. no, it was a shoot cane. He, he was a uh, shoot injured, and Hogan didn't want him to walk. <laughs> That, oh. that was from the Tony Observer, which I also was a oh. part of in 87. Oh, Tony. Let's go! One year, two day Observer. Award. How did it get to you? It was five days? Via mail. Oh, yeah. okay. Come on, man. Like carrier pigeon. All right. Yeah. That's well, Billy Graham says, I accept this award from my heart. And, you know, the stupid thing about this, I get to stand next to Hulk Hogan. This is the real American and the real example of all Americans uh, that they should follow. I love you, brother. And thank you, brother. And that's it. That's all Billy Graham gets to say after Hogan talked for fucking 10 minutes. For some reason, uh, Hogan also announced him like Dusty Rhodes. Like when he announced, yeah, he said, you're right. Superstar yeah. Billy Graham. Maybe that's how Billy Graham's promos also were. Yeah, no, Dusty he Rhodes. definitely had that cadence. Yeah, but, but it, it was It came weird. off more like Dusty Rhodes it than does, it did yeah. uh, Superstar Billy Graham to me. It was more Dusty Rhodes than Dusty Rhodes in that movie we watched. The Scooby-Doo one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Which I still don't believe was Dusty Rhodes. Let me, let me also say this. Superstar Billy Graham in the, the Salmon suit, big-ass <laughs> earrings. He's and, gigantic still. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, he looks yeah. great. Bald. And, dude, 
The <laughs> fucking beard that Hulk Hogan would steal for Hollywood Hogan. Oh my God, he you're did. right. He stole it for Hollywood. Yeah, yeah what a that's bastard, crazy, man. man. Can't stop taking over this fucking dude. You're lucky that superstar Billy Graham exists, brother, because I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> your ass wouldn't have made it in this fucking WWE. What are you talking you about, man? Me, that's dude? me. That's the Hulkster. Brother. What are you talking about, man? That is me, man. You know, superstar me, man? Billy Graham wasn't playing in Metallica, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Either he was playing in Megadeth. Either dude, I'll tell you that much. Well, Hogan and Billy Graham go to walk off stage, and then they stop in the middle, and Billy Graham turns around and looks at Hogan, and then Hogan snatches his cane from him and breaks it in half. Then he points at Billy Graham's legs and then starts flexing. You don't need that thing anymore. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I thought he was making fun of him. He broke his cane. It's out like your shitty he, little legs. Dude, he does the Vin Zach Gowan walk like off stage. <laughs> Hogan. <laughs> that shit is so crazy. I was so blown away by what I was watching. I thought this was, was like so a heel confused. turn. Yeah, dude, me too. I was like, wow, he's healing on the fucking dude. He ripped all his shit off. He broke his cane and said, ah, look at your shitty legs, you old bastard. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, he starts flexing. Then Billy Graham starts flexing. Why the fuck did Hogan have to break his cane for that? <laughs> he's giving him the power of Hulkamania so he can walk again. <laughs> so Superstar Billy Graham had to hold on to Hogan to get off stage. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> Make you look like a bigger bitch, brother. Yeah, you look like shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, man. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, dude. So uh, that's the Hulk Hogan Man. Real American Award, where he gives somebody an award and breaks their walking <laughs> assistant's game and then forces them to hug him off stage. And then also steals his gimmick and his beard and his whole and fucking makes the career. Guy compliment him. Yeah. The Real American Award is you suck my fucking cock for 15, brother, dude, man. So we go back to Harley Race and Jim Duggan, who are now fighting at the Holy. Christmas party. Uh, the cast both... party, the cast party. Sure, yeah, or the cash. Mu cash cast, money. Ass cast or grass? They're at the Whatever Christmas the ass cash party. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you don't need anymore. anymore. Come on. <laughs> so Harley Race throws Duggan onto a table, knocks over a bunch of shit. Food flies everywhere. Uh, they start throwing food at the chefs that are there. Then Jim Duggan hits an atomic drop on Bobby Heenan through a table. That had to suck. <laughs> through a cake. Yeah, that had there to was be a rough. cake and a table. At the oh, same time. You, yeah. You know about like ass cake stuff, Tony? Fuck yeah. Yeah, you know about cake farts. You've been there. Oh, been there. Oh, oh my. Wow. Now that's wow. the good shit right there, wow. Tony. You're spitting. Yeah, horrendously fucking awful to ever pain in my life. <laughs> really? Really just, just bad? Yeah. Dude, you, ever, you ever been a Tom drop through a table? That I don't even know if that would hurt. I Dude, can't the, even, you're telling me they, they, the, the first time they're breaking tables, they do like four table spots? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was cool. Oh, we can do this it is cool. While well, you fucking atomic drops them through a table, they probably didn't realize how much that would suck, so they said, let's try with Bobby Heenan. <laughs> let's horrifically <laughs> injure him. Well, yeah, right. Jim Duggan's now beating up Bobby Heenan and Harley Race with a big fish. Big <laughs> fish! Let's go, man! The raw two fish. <laughs> this is That's awesome, man. At the Christmas well, cash party. Yeah, the ca yeah, the Christmas cash, the cash, cash ass, ass party. party. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Ass yeah. Cash, cash That's party. what it's all about, man. DF had it down to a science. Is that what they were serving at Christmas parties back then? Big fish? No, big fish just cake. Big uncooked, fish. large fish, not... Sliced well, anything? They're getting ready for the. They haven't cooked the fish yet. You know? Oh, it's like um, you know, it's like Korean barbecue. You just kind of oh, eat the fish thin or you slice fucking, of yeah. beef. Thin <laughs> slice of beef that'll be five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Cook my own thin slice of five hundred dollar beef. <laughs> do not, do not leave yet. You also get one scoop of ice cream for free. Thin five hundred dollar beef after. $10,000 karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucked up day! <laughs> and so, ice cream, though. There's ice cream, though. It yeah, was the ice cream was really though. awesome, yeah. It was actually much better than the thin sliced beef. So Jesse Ventura is here to present, of course, <laughs> the Jesse the Body Award. <laughs> oh, really? Now we're just making up shit. An award that's more prestigious than now. the Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> more notable than the... The Nobel, <laughs> an award most people only dream of winning, named after me, Jesse the Body Award, and the nominees are Ravishing Rick Rude, and Rude's in a suit jacket, no shirt on, looks great. fucking looks insane. I can't imagine the amount of pussy he was slaying on a regular Dude, basis back he then. he was drowning 
in it. <laughs> he was genuinely like for eighty seven. This is this is like the most gorgeous dude that's ever existed. Your wife got <laughs> fucked right. by Big Rick Rude if she went to a show. Hundred percent. Yeah, he uh, should have. He should have. He should have went more into that, like in his promos. He's always like, "All the women love me." I was like, "I fuck your wives. Yeah, I fuck 100%. your wives." And I have proof. Here's. <laughs> I mean, he here's did with Jake Roberts. Yeah, yeah but Jay I would have done it to every town we went to. I would have yeah. went up to. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking your wife tonight. But I guess '87 was a little more. A little they more. They would have fought and yeah. stabbed you. Probably. Yeah, 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 you're right. It makes. Like, sense. He definitely okay. put a like could have got like someone's wife to get into the ring with him and like. Take his robe off and shit. Sure. But then he probably, yeah. They would have been waiting for him in the parking lot and took his <laughs> cut it, sliced his tires and then his throat. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Especially right. if you try that shit with me. <laughs> you will not yeah. fuck my wife. Yeah, I guess Keep he, your fucking jacket on. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but yeah, you're right. That's like yeah. 80s, 80, like the 80s. With that would have been pretty nuts, yeah. Please I mean, he did it in my character, wife. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, fucking wives regularly in towns would have been like <laughs> real dedication to the gimmick. 1987 had like dudes that like that shit. Like, yeah, fuck my wife. You think they or did? Was that not yeah, they did. Yeah, they, they were cucked Whoa, out. 87. Yeah, they oh. were cucked out. Yeah, man, it was like a it was like a rite of passage. If your wife got the train ran on it. What, <laughs> Tony? <laughs> 87 was different. I was one year. No, I hear you. Two days old. Hey, I, 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 I can I, tell I, you. I, I, I fucking hear you. It was a rite of passage. They just, <laughs> Bro, like, to let, it was to like, let the boys run on your wife? It was like cocaine and... Yeah, no, he's right, sex. man. He's right. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. James knows. He's got those, Anyway, the those second nominee right. is the natural to, butch read. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, let's talk about this award. <laughs> sure, yeah. Third nominee is the ultimate warrior, and he goes, ah, ah, ah. No, hey, no, hey, no pussy for this fucking jabroni, no dude. I'll tell you way, that, dude. He was getting his wife <laughs> fucked for sure. He was having missionary <laughs> slow sex with his wife. Slow, yeah. boring, three strokes. He's out, fucking. And then get Butch this punk ass jabroni. The pussy. <laughs> get this jabroni out of here, bro. They call him the natural Butch. Yeah, hell yeah. And then finally, the mighty Hercules and the winner. Of the Jesse the Body oh, did Award is. You, did you mention Sensational Sherry? I think she oh, was. Oh, sorry. Yes. Sensational Sherry is also in this award. She's but she fine. does not win, Tony, because ravishing Rick Rude wins. And Rick Rude explains really everything we just explained there. <laughs> he gets up. It's five <laughs> minutes of him gyrating, taking off layers of clothes very slowly, zooming in on his fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> Mean Gene loves his fucking cock. Dude, he's staring at it. Mean, he's dude, staring at his yeah. cock. The whole Rick Rude thing. rips off his pants. He's in his underwear. He's dancing. He's thrusting. He goes to take off his underwear. Then Mean Gene walks in, covers him up with a towel. Rick Rude takes his underwear off, and Mean Gene says, Oh, oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> but he's staring directly he keeps looking at, at his cock. He's fucking something. Uh, mean Gene leaves the stage. Rick Rude wraps himself in a towel, and Mean Gene says, "Oh, that's incredible, jeez." <laughs> and then uh, Rick Rude says he'd like to thank his role model Jesse the Body for creating this award for him to win. And he'd like to thank all the women of the world whose days begin with the sweet thoughts of ravishing Rick fucking Rude. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I don't know how that towel doesn't fall off him. That's some crazy towel skill. Because his was cock is holding up. He's holding up from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrapped around his waist. <laughs> Dude, how, how do they not give this guy the WWF title? That's a good question. Well, I, let I, me tell you something about that man. Well, dude, he's not fucking my wife, dude. Look at this fucking, fucking ham hock I got down here, brother. There's a way fucking Linda Hogan, brother. Yeah, so then there's a... Hit me with your best shot music video. Yeah, what the fuck? I thought like I thought this was like something to do. Was this a part of the music award? Yeah, this was no. this was the video package to set up for the greatest hits award. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, Slammy so that's style. what it was. It was like a little uh, package with the Pat yeah, Benatar right. song. Hit yeah, me with right. your best shot. It was mm -hmm. long as hell. They did the whole song. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's but like a three minute. Time, I guess. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Uh, so this video package is to set up the Greatest Hits Award, where Harley Race and Jim Duggan come barreling through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mean Gene says, uh, among those hits, how can we possibly pick the greatest? And Jesse's, I've narrowed it down to five. And you can read them, <laughs> Chrome Dome. So, and then, yeah, what do they come, like, is, is it like a fucking painting? Like, what do they barrel through here? It's just a paper wall? Yeah, the paper wall, of course. He blasts right through it. <laughs> Duggan is chasing Harley Race with a two-by-four, and Gorilla Monsoon stops him. 
Uh, and, and then like they just go, all right, well, now it's time to the reading of the nominees. <laughs> all right. What fucking award is this? The Greatest Hits Award? Is it? Yeah, this is the Greatest Hits Award. It's like the... Uh... The uh, move in the night or whatever. I don't know what the. Oh, you know, okay. Like the... So greatest hit is in greatest hit physically. Right. Yeah. Yes. Ah, Who see. gives okay. the greatest well, hits? Yes. Okay. Well, Mean Gene reads off the nominees, and the first nominee is Andre the Giant. Uh, second is Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Jesse oh, Andre Ventura. gets it for uh, like throwing Hogan out of a battle royal or whatever. They just show that clip. For oh, some do you that... have those written down? Because I don't. Yeah, I don't that's remember what that's it was. like his hit, I guess. Okay. Uh, do you have the rest too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hacksaw. Yeah, give him off, uh, Hacksaw hit Harley Race with the 2x4. That was okay. Early. I'm bored Hon of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Honky Dog Man hits Randy Savage with the guitar. Of course. Uh, Strike Force beats up the Heart Foundation. Uh, they just yeah. Who's in Strike win? Force? Gotta be fucking Tito. <laughs> 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 that was almost, that. You almost fucking forgot. That's crazy. <laughs> that. What? That, what? That, mother, that motherfucking. Uh... <laughs> motherfucking ass. Uh... <laughs> This is strike four for the Heart Foundation. They lose the strike oh, force. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh man. Yeah. God damn, man. Damn. And then God Bam Bam damn. Bigelow for hitting a sling slot, a slingshot Sling splash. Sling slot? That's Rick Rude, brother. <laughs> the slingshot <laughs> splash, the Sammy Callahan type move, I think. I don't know. Something like that. No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's right. Yeah. Bigelow did that. He's cooking really? right here. No. Wow. Yeah, he no. did. I'm uh, lying. Okay, sure. okay, stop lying to me. We're not no. lying. It's true. Really, I'm lying. Who's we? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> The royal we. <laughs> well, who's the winner, uh, Tony? Uh, the winner is uh, I think it's Hacksaw. Hold on, Jim Hacksaw. Duggan and Harley Race burst into the stage. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's uh, Hacksaw. Jim Duggan wins, and Jesse Ventura is not happy about this. Well, Duggan comes back out all fucked up, sweaty. He takes the slam. He's blown up, and he says, "All I can say is, oh." And then that, then that's it. Well, thank all God, right. Gorilla Monsoon can now be back on this show because he is here. <laughs> Yes. For the Manager of the Year award. The Manager of the Year, the man who is uh, in the past year shown that he has enhanced the career of the man he has managed the best. Number one, the nominee is the Doctor of Style, the Slickster. Holy shit, this guy's awesome. Slick comes up onto the stage <laughs> after being announced as a nominee. And Gorilla Monsoon says, hey, hold on, who told you to come up here? And Slick says, I told myself because I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and Monsoon pushes him and Slick says, don't you put your hands on me, fool. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. He says, I didn't tell you to come up here. I'm just announcing who the nominees are. Well, number two is the Colonel, Jimmy Hart. And Jimmy Hart stands up and Monsoon says, sit down, Jimmy. Well, Jimmy Hart comes up on the stage and says, save your breath, daddy, because I got this one. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, number three is the devious one, Mr. Fuji. And Mr. Fuji walks up on the stage and Monsoon says, uh, you too, huh? <laughs> and Fuji says, give me my trophy. And Monsoon says, I haven't announced a winner yet, Foo. As he, that's his, you know, his friendly name for him, Foo, Mr. Foo. Uh, and last but certainly not least... Bobby the Brain Heaton, and Heaton comes in from the back, wiping himself off after also being a part of the brawl. And the winner is, Monsoon says, you're going to love this. You guys you guys on the stage are going to hate this, but you, you're going to love this. The winner is, none of the above. <laughs> none of you fucking <laughs> win. Get Wait, the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. None of you fucking win. All four of them are flipping out and pissed because none of them win. How is that fucking possible? Jack Tunney fucking did this bullshit. The he should be man. fired. The ass man Jack Tunney did this. Jack ass <laughs> <laughs> did this. It's cra Jack Tunney. Like I, I so I'm I, again. I'm super not familiar with that era. I really didn't. I didn't grow up in it, so I didn't watch it. But like the idea of like a president, it seemed like everyone was not respected him. But that was like such an easy out. I guess the, what they did later was what general manager and commissioner and stuff. They yeah. never did like president like that. When did, how long is he around for? Is he there for a uh, while? He, like, he's around until 95. That's what I was saying. He's, he's still there uh, when, Raw, really? when Raw happens. Yeah. yeah, he's like president oh, up to yeah, like uh, right. new generation yeah. and stuff too, I think, right? Up to like wow, 95. what the fuck? Because he announces fuck? like, yeah. <laughs> he announces yeah. a bunch of stuff where like he bans Lex Luger's forearm and stuff and all this shit. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh, no shit. Because he had the all steel right. plate in his arm or whatever. Sure. Remember, okay, shit. sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is uh, Coco Beware's time to perform... Pow Driver off the album Pow Driver. Dude, he this song is hot. Coco Beware is killing it. 
Bam Bam Bigelow's fucking going crazy on the saxophone. Ultimate Warriors walk around on the stage with a sledgehammer, which Dude. Triple H knows is trouble in his future. <laughs> <laughs> he stole that from this moment. He, saw he stole him, it from Warrior, it. and then Warrior jumps him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. And uh, there's a random romantic scene, like memory showing Coco Beware giving a woman a rose at dinner. I'm not sure what was going on there, but this song, uh, in my this got my vote. This song, Pile Pile Driver. Driver. Yeah, yeah, this song's good awesome. Song. Good song. Well, now it's time for the Personal Hygiene Award. <laughs> this is for you, Smash players. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you like that one? <laughs> yeah, high fives. Yeah, Let's fuck go. yeah, man. Holy I hear shit. one for Johnny, though. I'll tell More you like wild, but, you I'm know, stinky. same difference. <laughs> wild players. I smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, number one is Samoan Sika for his table manners without a table. One out, one out, one That was awesome. Uh, number two is Hillbilly Jim for his men's cologne, uh, Sui Scent. Is that what it was? Yep, Three. that's that's yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, that, thank yeah. you, Hillbilly Jim. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Billy James, George, George the Animal Steel for his tidiness in and around the ring. Uh, Nikolai Volkov, Boris Zukov, and the Slickster for their team efficiency when it comes to dental care. I don't and even understand this. They just share toothbrush. They, just, they were right. just brushing their teeth. <laughs> yeah, that was, I respect that. Fuck. The biggest ass toothbrush I've ever seen in my life, dude. <laughs> And number five is King Kong Bundy for his tone on the throne, which was him shitting. He shit his, his fucking shit. pants. Yeah, his yeah, he was smelly shit. ass is what yeah, it was. He was shitting in a toilet, and it's fucked up. How dare you? And the winner is Nikolai Volkov, Boris Zukov, and the Slickster. They got the best personal hygiene. Or maybe not, brother. Uh, well, Slick says <laughs> in anticipation of winning this prestigious. And then all of a sudden, Hillbilly Jim is in the crowd starting a USA chant. <laughs> this is what it's all fucking about right here. Hillbilly Jim is like one of the best wrestlers of all time, from what I've heard it said. <laughs> well, he's in Here Comes the Pain, so he's got to be. Yeah, you're right. Or it could have been George Animal Steel. Who knows? Like, oh, <laughs> he really knows, really, at the end of the day. Well, dude, Hillbilly Jim starting his chant. Slick from the stage points at him and says, I'm going to get you, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Crazy. That was track. real. That was a shoot. <laughs> yeah. He said, This is a proud moment for all the Russian peoples. Another USA chant starts. And Slick says, The Russians are clean and peaceful people. And so are Boris and Nikolai. They fight clean. They wash clean. And that's the way the Slickster likes it. My motto is, Honestly, is the best policy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he should have won Manager of the Year. He should have fucking won. I think Slickster's based as hell. Well, now it's time for Jimmy Hart to perform Girls in Cars. <laughs> Stay away from my car! Honky Tonk, <laughs> Rick Root, Hulk Hogan, <laughs> Boris Zukov, Butch Reed, <laughs> Macho Man. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's performs Girls in Cars, and of course there's girls in the car, and some dudes driving on motorcycles and start ignoring Jimmy Hart and steal his girls. Dude, that's then, Strike Force. That's Strike yeah, Force. Tito Santana and Rick Martell. Yeah! yeah! Let's go! Don't Let's fuck with me! Chickens! I like that! Chickens! I like that! Chickens! Chick say, do the line! Do the line! Let's go! Strike Force. This is Strike Force theme song, by the way, Girls in Cars. But Wait, it wasn't performed it? by Jimmy Hart. It was performed by Robbie Dupree. Holy shit, of the Dupree family? Of, of course. Like Renee Dupree and yeah. Yumi and Dupree, the whole family. <laughs> Well, then a, a girl dressed as a school bus starts harassing Jimmy Hart. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> which, it, which is the theme of the song. <laughs> of course it is. Not girls in buses. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I don't want a bus. <laughs> what a car. Listen to the fucking song. Fucking fuck you. Uh, yeah, girls in cars. This does not get my vote. Oh. Why don't you get the fuck off the stage? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Macho Man Elizabeth oh, to present yeah. the best vocal performance award. Yeah, but before we get to that, Elizabeth, won't you tell me something? <laughs> Who's the best dressed man at the Slammies? <laughs> Say something nice about the Macho Man. <laughs> well, well, you are Macho Man. Mm, unbelievable. I like it. <laughs> he's, he's, mm, unbelievable. <laughs> I like it, I like it. He's doing yeah. his whole interest with tape and everything. Ooh, yeah. He's doing, yeah, he's pantomiming, yeah. And uh, who should get a slammy for being the best dressed? <laughs> uh, you, of course. Mm, yeah, now I'm satisfied. Go, <laughs> go ahead and read those nominations. Mm, yeah. And, uh, well, yeah, she's reading the nominations for best dressed man, I guess, right? Is that what it was? 
best, best vocal, vocal. Bro. Most vocal. Sorry, best vocal. <laughs> Why the fuck was he even talking about this then? Because he's the best dressed man. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, no. here yeah. are the nominees for best vocal performance award. Okay. Got the goddamn junkyard dog. Yeah. Come on, man. Don't talk yeah. to me. Uh, don't talk to me. Uh, don't don't forget about the one man gang. Who? And how could you forget about hacksaw Jim Duggan? Oh. And Jimmy Hart. <laughs> And sweeping up all these fucking awards, <laughs> Jersey Animal Steel. I, what was it, what was his? What even, uh, his, did he even his do was, his? Help! Help <laughs> me! Help! Uh, yeah, that's that's the one I voted I for. Remember I remember that one. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. the one I liked the most. Yeah, yeah that's why I was in here because of pain or not. Uh, that was, he was in there. I promise he was. Well, the winner is actually. <laughs> 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 Uh, Jimmy Hart is very upset about this. Out. Dude, I'll no, you're fine. We're almost out. there. I swear we're almost there. Hacksaw oh, says, oh, oh, man. Oh, my yeah. God. What like, more can I say, tough guy? All together. Oh. I got to start thinking some multivitamins or something. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, but who makes the best sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my cock is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up up there! <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony Khan. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so mm, all the stars yes. perform. They're all here. Yes, yes, they're here to perform. If you only knew. Yeah, the last nominated song. If you only knew, and Ventura says, "I do know." <laughs> okay. 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 Go dude. away, dude. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, sheesh. So every all the stars are here as as they said. Uh everyone's on the stage clapping. Uh during the song, Hogan and DiBiase just start arguing <laughs> during the song. Hogan, you don't you don't have enough money to buy me out, dude. And DiBiase says, Everybody has a price. And Hogan says, I'd like to bust you up real bad. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, well, it's time to start shooting. The show is done. <laughs> yeah, we're done here. Uh, and of course, now it's time to... We're going to read the results about uh, how my man Honky Tonk Man has won the Slammy for best song. And uh, Mean Gene says, well, I, I can only tell you that because I have the results and I think you're going to be surprised. Well, Jimmy Hart steals the results. It's in an envelope. He steals it from Mean Gene. Then Jimmy Hart reads it and then passes it along to every heel on the stage. All <laughs> the heels are here. They're all reading it, passing it on, reading it, passing it on over and over again until it gets to Sika of the Wild Samoans who eats the resu fucking results. <laughs> he fucking devours them. And Mean Gene says, I guess the winner is going to be forever unknown in the stomach lining of Sika. <laughs> so they all we right. get no fucking they hyped this up the it, whole one show. One copy, one copy, that's it. You got one copy. And Jack Tunney can't tell you. He's here. He can't tell you the result. No, why though. would he? The ass man doesn't know. He forgot. Well, Jesse Ventura says, "No, no, mean Gene. If you're going to find the answer, I'm sure you can hang out with Sika and tomorrow morning you can pick out the results." <laughs> If you only knew what I'm gonna do to you. I knew. <laughs> That's it. And uh, yeah. I mean, say goodnight, Jesse, and Jesse's goodnight, Jesse. And Fuck you for. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut <laughs> up! Hell, man. <laughs> Shut up. You want me to let me go ask the jackass yeah. about the results? He's gonna <laughs> shit out the award. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna oh my god. Sit through his shit. Oh my wow. god. I bet you could find the results if he has room in his stomach. <laughs> if he has room for my fist. Shit, <laughs> man. So uh that Dan, oh, Dan, 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 The credits yeah. roll. The credits Dan, roll. The credits roll. Knew. Was K Fabe on the credits? I didn't look. Yes. He was director. He directed oh, okay. this. K Fabe is the director. K K A Y E. The, uh, -E. This was nothing I could not have predicted that this is what this was gonna be. Dan, 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 Dan. Yeah, no, I couldn't either. Dan. Is that the longest it's taken you to watch one of these? Yeah, this is uh this is th it took three days. I watched XWF episode one twice in quicker time. <laughs> <laughs> you two watches. Yeah, well, usually, usually, up. usually, I can leave, like so. If a show is like one hour, you I can, can usually you, I can usually watch easy. it in two. 
because yes. I, I take notes, so I pause a lot and like go back Sh- I do, yeah, shit. absolutely, absolutely. And if the show's two hours, and it takes you three, but this sure. took me three days. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, you know what? If you only knew, if you only knew, I knew, I knew, I, always, I knew I the whole knew. time. <laughs> if you would just, if you would have just got a little bit farther into the awards, whatever you, you knew, I already know. I know from the start. Shut up. Shut up. So Rick Rude should, will fuck my wife. So it so should make Jesse Ventura's head like his, his cranium huge, like edit it to be as hairy as this. If you only knew. I already knew. <laughs> Chad, Jesse Ventura, and crying virgin. I, if you only knew. I knew. I already knew. <laughs> Well, there you go. That was the 1987 WWF Slammy Awards, 37th annual <laughs> Slammy Awards. And the one and only top of the the golden era of WWF. <laughs> I fucking hope so, man. Yeah. God damn, there can't be anything from <laughs> Sorry, this era. I wanna, yeah. Unless Rick Rude's on top, then yeah. maybe. And Which, I hear he's on top a lot, brother. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, brother. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Come on, come on, come yeah. on. Come on. <laughs> Well, that is it uh, for our show as well. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the Deadlock Podcast. Make sure to check us out. Patreon.com slash DeadlockPW. We got uh, thousands of hours probably at this point of fucking shit. Yeah, Get over right. there, man. Stop fucking around. You're missing out. All the best stuff's on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Now it's time for the patrons to get a shout out. Let's start with Vlad, Snacks Demand, William Powell, Ghost Patrol, Traffic Cohen, RVD's Nuts, Cruel Should Be Locked Up, Tony Davis, Kenyon Wilder, Who Is Chase Bell, Torch Crawler, Eric Ward, Yaman156, Deadlock Town Hall Committee member, Dick the Hammer Dick, Nigel McGinnis is concussed dude, or maybe he isn't brother. Connor Braun, Ruben Robles, Jamie, S. Milne, Peanut Monster, and Heel Diggy. Do you want to support me and get early access to my videos? Then hop on over to my Patreon. It's only $3 a month.